I am going to show you how to make a wonderful homemade jam with one ingredient. All you need is fruit, you need a two quart saucepan, and we're going over medium high heat with five cups of fresh fruit. I have blueberries today and I've already washed these, drained them in a colander, and dried them off of the paper towel. So we need to add the berries to the pot and we'll cook these until the juices begin to release and the berry skin split and that should take anywhere from 8 to 15 minutes depending on the fruit you're using with blueberries probably closer to 8 so we'll put these on to cook medium high and then we'll come back and take a peek. In 8 minutes and our berries are cooking we've got the skins are split and the berries have started to reduce down and you have a lot of liquid and that's just with the berries in there so what we need to do now is reduce our heat to a medium low and let the berries cook until this quantity is reduced by about 50%. So we want half as much in the pot after this cooking time, which should take us about 10 to 12 more minutes. And then we'll come back and have another look. So this is 10 minutes in, and if you come in and look at the berries in the pot, you'll see that they have reduced. If you look around the edge of the pot, you can see where the berries were, and so you know your volume is reducing, which is what you want to see at this point. They need more time, but you can tell that the juices are thicker, so you give it an occasional stir and keep it over medium-low heat. We were at eight minutes on medium-high heat cooking to begin with, and then we reduced our heat to medium-low, and we've been cooking now for 18 minutes. See how thick the juice is, and you can see that this is reduced by half. And again, remember to look up at your pot so you can see how much volume you've lost. It's time to turn the heat to low, and we're going to cook for a few more minutes just to reduce, reduce this volume by half once again. We are ready to put our homemade single ingredient blueberry jam right into the jar. It's thick, and it will continue to thicken once it gets in the jar and cools. So. We need to take it over to the jar. And what you end up with after using five cups of fresh fruit is usually roughly one cup of your jam. Once it's hot, you can put it right in the jar and use a jar funnel for that. And you just want to scoop it right in. And we'll leave the lid off the jar until this cools down to room temperature so it doesn't build pressure inside. And now you're ready to use this for a bread spread as jam or you can warm it and use it as an awesome ice cream topping. Either way, you have no added sugar, 100% pure fruit, easy homemade jam.